Doctor, does this thing really work? So I've gotten up nice, bright and early today, all bubbly, and what better to do than have a change on a day like this when you're feeling like this? So I've been wanting to do something with my hair, right? This is my hair down. As we all know, it sort of all broke off at one point, and this is the state of it now. That's the update. It just doesn't seem to grow in the short, the, they're short at the sides and then goes long at the back. So I actually bought a comb because I know I have an awful lot of split ends. So I've been shopping on Timu again. So I bought this comb. Now I've actually been watching a few videos on this last night. It's meant to get rid of split ends, I think. Well, that's why I bought it. But after watching the videos, I'm a little bit scared of using this. So now I'm unsure if I really want to try it. So it's it's basically like a bladed comb. Do I give it a go? What do you reckon, babe? No. I might just give it one sweep at the back of my hair. So if anything drastic happens, then it won't be seen. Yeah, let's give it one go at the back. I mean, I would like to see what it does exactly. But let's give it a go. So, yeah, anyway, I woke up this morning. I thought, no, I'm too scared to do this one. But I'll give it a quick go. So let's just quickly give this a go. Now, it's, it's like a longer side and a shorter side. So I'm going to do it on the longer side, I think. I haven't even got a mirror. Well, I've got a mirror there, ain't I? Right, do I dare do it? Oh, it sounds horrible. Oh no, right, okay. <laughs> That's taken out a lot more hair than I would have liked. No. Is it just taking the split ends off though? I don't know. Let me have a look. Has that just taken the split ends off? Let me give it one go. Let me try my fringe, shall I? I'll try me try my fringe. Oh, it sounds horrible. No, I think I'm going to give that one a miss. <laughs> so I've got one product anyway I want to try today. We all get up sometimes and we feel like, I just fancy dyeing my hair blue, green, red, whatever. But sometimes Dan doesn't like it when I do that. <laughs> so I found a temporary option on Timu once again. Uh, this was just a couple of quid actually. I will find out the price. And it's Chalks Mini Hair Comb color comb so these are look a fan fantastic all different colors change your hair color in minutes temporary hair color to use on wet or dry hair all right 10 pieces so it says on the back how to use place a towel place a dry towel around your neck to protect your clothing or just use an old t-shirt because i'm guessing it's going to get the chalk everywhere dampen your hair a little to help the chalk attached to your hair right i should do that um apply the chalk stick of your choice by sweeping down in a twisting through and twisting it through the hair you can seal the chalk on your hair by ironing your hair or uh, by using like a curling wand and for extra seal apply hair spray so this is the colours it's meant to come out. And now I'm thinking if you've got black hair, I can't really imagine this working. So does this thing really work? Well, we'll try, won't we? So do I dampen my hair? We'll, do, we'll give it a go dry first. Right, this is cool. So they're all individually sealed. They're all like a comb as it is. But it's got to start off with pink then, ain't I? Start off with a pink one. Right, let me just get this open, get all these opened and organised, and we'll crack on. So I could actually see myself using these on quite a few occasions, really. Just if you're feeling a bit outrageous one day, or you're having a nice sort of weekend away, you're going sort of, I don't know, festival or something. Right, so these are what the combs look like. I've opened every single one because I want to try every single colour. Um, straight away... They're not chalk like how I imagine chalk being like. They're more like a wax crayon. Well, that's what th I'm feeling anyway. Getting in pigment on my finger there, look. Yes, so I'm gonna try every, oh, I missed one. So I'm gonna try every single color. 
there is a white colour. Can't imagine that working unless if you've then got black hair. Right, so let's start with one. So as my hair's up like this, I'm going to just do all the bottom bit, bottom layer, and then I'll do the top layer. So let's just grab a little bit. I haven't got a mirror, you know, I'm just using the camera. <laughs> How did that come out? Okay. And apparently if it should only take one or two washes but if you've got blonde hair it could take a little bit longer they reckon so how's that coming out let's have a look that's quite nice it's a bit subtle isn't it what do you think babe can you see yeah wash it out <laughs> I, I can't I, I can't even imagine like it's wax crayon I can feel it on my hair it feels kind of waxy now all right, I'm just going to turn to the mirror and get a proper decent layer on that. Yeah, I mean it's doing it's doing all right. It's definitely worn the um, crayon down already. I'm going to say crayon because to me that's not really chalk. Maybe there are chalk ones available. All right, let's put that one back. Let's try a blue one, shall we? <laughs> try a bit of a blue one I'm guessing if you've got blonde hair this is gonna come out the nuts but if you had a friend or a, part, a good partner that would actually do it for you you could actually make your hair look well cool I reckon it's quite hard for short hair oh okay that's quite pigmented pigmented <laughs> so I'm not gonna properly try and get it all on like that I'm just gonna there we go it feels awful there's no way you'd want to go to bed with this so it means now i've got to wash my hair today now yellow i'm going to try yellow that's a strange color to get try isn't it let's try the yellow on there is it coming out oh yeah i can see it in the camera let's have a look in the mirror wow do you know what i'm actually quite impressed with these <laughs> Yay! But now I've got to do my other side of the fringe yellow, really, haven't I? Or should I? I can do any colour I want, can't I? Let's try white, just because I want to try the white. But this ain't going to come out, is it? Yeah, it's got, it takes a bit of... That's gone white, isn't it? Has that gone white? Mm, subtle sort of white on there. Yeah, if you had like like a friend or your mum or someone to help you do this, you could actually get quite a decent coverage on this, I reckon. Right, let's try an orange. Yeah, I'm guessing it'd be a lot easier on um, long hair. Okay, yeah. It's definitely orange, isn't it? Sorry about that, this is the eco flow that you're sitting on there we go it stopped <laughs> right so at this point i'm just going to let the hair down give it a quick brush oh yeah apparently you're not actually supposed to brush this once it's once it's on because apparently it can just come out then let me have a look if that's doing that no right, let's give it a go let's give another one a go yeah, I could definitely see me using these. Could have them for birthday parties, Halloween and stuff, couldn't you? You could do all your hair in one colour and see which colour you'd like before you buy a dye kind of thing. Like if you feel like, oh, I want to dye my hair purple, use all the purple on your hair first and see if you really would like it and get on with it. That's a good, good way of doing it before destroying your hair. <laughs> So they're not really like combs because you can't do it like that. You have to literally sort of pull the... Oh, I've done the red one. Did that come out? Oh, yeah. There's none on this bit here, though, is there? Let's try an orange. I think I tried the orange, actually, didn't I? Yeah. I'd love a rainbow head. You can help me do this one day, babe. Could literally have all different colours. Is 
just finishing off. Can't really do me back of the head properly. There we go. I've given it a good go. It's actually really quite fun and quite fabulous. That's the back of it. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> Gosh, it makes your hair feel awful though, all waxy and yeah. All right, I'm gonna do like some kind of style, or pull it up in a hairband or something. I wanted to do it so it matched this today, but totally went wild with them today, didn't I? So yeah, I'm gonna try and pin it up or do something and see how it looks. Before I do though, I do wanna give it the hairbrush test. They do say don't brush it. Oh! <laughs> Give it a brush. Is it coming out? I mean, because it's not chalk, I can't see it coming out. Where are you going? <laughs> there we go. All right, let me go and grab a hairband and tie this hair up. I'm just gonna tie it rough, roughly, just for the purpose of this video. Just wanted to see how it would look like as a ponytail. I wonder if it's going to look all unicorny, you know? These bits look like they could do a doing again, though, don't they? Maybe the underneath a bit more. Let's have a look at the ponytail. That's the ponytail, the back. Actually, that's all right. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? What do you think, babe? Wash it out. Ah, I quite like it. I actually quite like that. I just hope it will wash out. Yeah, so just a little bit of fun there today. Um, yeah, let's put a smile on my face now today. Saves me boring a hair dye. <laughs> yeah, so I think they were only really cheap. I'm not going to check the price because I think they were just one or two pounds. So while my hair is up, I've got one more other product. This is like really dirt cheap, but I can't get the prices up unfortunately but trust me they're dirt cheap it's not even worth talking about and it's meant to be like do you know what it is i don't really know what it is myself i think it's meant to look like a scruffy bun so it's like a it's like a hair band okay <laughs> it don't look like what it did on the picture i'm sure once you, if you could make it look pretty like if you've got tongs and all that which i don't so let's, should we stick that in my ponytail and see, and just see how that turns out. There we go, right, I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> oh, I can't see this looking as nice as it did on the picture. Don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know, I'm seeing bits from the front that I kinda like. Let me have a look, see what this really looks like. I suppose if you did it properly, which I haven't. Where's the mirror? Where's the mirror? Oh, no. I don't know, if you put your hair in a barn, got rid of like the ponytail -y bit, it's not a bad match colour for my hair really either, considering, you know, I had really no sort of idea how it was going to turn out. Now, if that was longer, <laughs> then maybe so which reminds me oh, i do actually have some hair pieces i do have to try actually and they're from amazon actually bought them months and months and months ago yes yeah, so i wouldn't say that's the worst product i suppose if you could fiddle with that and you, again you know if you're a hair professional this and you can brush it and comb it and get your tongue on it or whatever I think mean, that'd look quite nice. Maybe, like I said, get rid of your ponytail bit. Yeah. Yeah. It could work. It could work. So before I say goodbye, just a quick little update then to what's been going on. First of all, I have some thank yous. You're welcome. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the names up. Now, this probably isn't the full list of them, actually, if I'm quite honest. So, big, massive, super thanks to Lynn. I don't think I should be saying your second name. So, Lynn H. <laughs> anyway, it's because I can't say your second name. Uh, Kim Funston, thank you very much. Um, Higgy B and Kim, actually, you've done quite a few, so I really appreciate that. Higgy B, thank you very much. Linda Ingrid, thank you very much. 
Um, Ingrid Men. I'm rubbish at names. How do you say this one, babe? Ingrid Dammon. Ingrid Dammon, thank you very much. Now, I'm not sure if actually that's the same person as the Linda Ingrid. And Martin Key. Now, I do know there is a few more as well, but I'm going to have to try and search them out and put them on the list. So, thank you all so very much for your super thanks. I really do appreciate that. Oh, yes, and also, if anyone did actually watch my woods video yesterday and I thought I'd saw, like, a black squirrel or what I thought might have been a minx because I didn't think a black squirrel existed, well, they do, and they're extremely wet, rare, apparently. I don't know what the figures are, what the actual numbers are, so maybe I did actually see a black squirrel. There's 2.5 million squirrels in England and there's only 25,000 black ones. Wow! It was definitely all black, so quite impressed with that, if that's what it was. And if you haven't watched that video, go back over and watch that video. Right, so not long now before um, we get our MOT done, spend in a couple of more nights on a different campsite, and then we'll be heading back to the nursery. So how about that? We're looking forward to it now, aren't we, honey? Yep. Yep. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that little video, because I certainly did. I feel like a unicorn now. Where are you going again? <laughs> right, that's a sign. I've got to go. Right, we're going to love you and leave you and see you on the next. Take care. Love y'all. Bye.